Hello you lovely lot and welcome to another episode of Winning Ways where we're going to be going for sort of like autumn grab big wobbly carps aren't we mate? Yeah definitely we're just on the shutdown aren't we? It is it's yeah. September, it's, yeah just in September. And we're getting a sneaky little practice in because we're out the beautiful <laughs> Larford Lakes we and are. it's a Golden Reel final next Saturday. Yeah. So I'm having a free lesson. I'm going to watch how the main man does it. Fresh from his £60,000 grab big check that he's just won. <laughs> Talk oh. us through some of the methods then, Jay. Where are we going, right, mate? What we're going to do today, we're not going to fish exactly how we'd want to fish. Do you know what I mean? Because if I'm completely I'm honest... I'm going to stick float on the river. <laughs> right there. Yeah, but for this venue in particular, I'd want to start on pellet shore, as I'm sure you would on both banks. We've covered that at Western Pools. Yes, you know what I mean? Exactly the same thing as we did in the Western Pools thing. Yeah. That's what I do here. Bit, bit, bit duck like, tackle. Jamie, why aren't you feeding that line? Come on, get some bait in. Yeah, <laughs> nice. That, that's what I would do. Yeah. Yeah, but we're going to assume on the short line, I'm going to do something a bit different because here we're after, it's a much bigger stamp of fish as well. It's like these great oh, big ones that are yeah. visiting now. Everything's five to ten pound. Yeah. So it's about, a lot of the fishing is about setting traps, getting a bite. Yeah, and they're very, very difficult fish to catch. These, say, back end of the year now, we're on uh, September, like yeah, we say. They're going to have a proper feed up soon. But they've seen everything, haven't they, as well? Yeah, that they've literally been, they've been fished for down the edge every day since April. Mm. I mean, they, they really, they know intimately how to feed and avoid getting caught, which is a tricky bit. I like that, intimate. Intimately. Intimacy. So we're going to have a little chat about the edges later as well. The edge is very, very different in here, and it's, it's not like we've done in the past. Um, we did one at Cudmore, didn't we? That, mm. Fishing down the edge there, setting a trap. Uh, sitting a very tight line over it because the fish are coming up to something. Here we haven't got that. Past it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it will, but we'll talk about that a bit more detail later on when we go down the edge. Um, and I'm going to fish a couple of other methods. I'm going to fish a method feeder short today. I'm going to talk about what we're fishing on, how I fish my method, my pellets, bloody, bloody, bloody. It, it has got popular, that method short. Yeah. Chucking it, chucking it around because, again, as you're saying, you're setting that little tiny Perfect trap. Perfect little trap. Coming in, in they're on. Definitely. And, and I think, point. obviously, the size of them and obviously that, that bank in particular, with it being so shallow, up them on a pole, doosh, they're gone. Yeah. Whereas, obviously, you've got the, the drag on the reel. Definitely. That, you land them a bit easier. I think it's the, um, the getting rid of the foul lockers as well right. is a massive advantage. You've just put that little method feeder, as long as it's deep enough to do it putting that in, set your traps, there's no foul lockers. When yeah, it's on, yeah. it's on, isn't it? It yeah. just means that for the such small numbers of carp you're fishing for, at these sort of venues now where the big hayfields is exactly the same, yeah, the big definitely. Oh, right, he's got to mention hayfield, hasn't he? What's happened there recently, <laughs> Jamie? Makes me sick. It was only 24 pegger. It's not a big one, was it? But, <laughs> um, yeah, it's about setting that trap and yeah. not missing out. Yeah, when you yeah. only need 20 fish and that's your target, it's about catching them 20 fish that come in your peg Definitely. rather than foul looking three and, and whatever else. That's probably my game, mate. <laughs> foul looking. Oh, no, foul looking. Daddy, mate, what am I doing wrong? Come on, tell me. Yeah, definitely. So that's what we're going to start on. We're right, going to go brilliant. to the method short first. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, next, we're going to fish a bomb. Nice. So like that, that. at the minute, that's me. My little You're obsession. It, it went quite well Proper, last week mate. on a bomb. So we're going to have a little I can't wait feed in of fishing that bomb. Yeah. Mainly, in this case, it's that middle of the match, isn't it? It's your, your second, gotta, third, fourth hour. A few more fish in there, aren't you? Yes, it's, it's when they all go out there. They don't want to feed, but you're going to where the fish are to, to catch an odd fish. You know yeah. what I mean? That's what you're trying to do. Mo most situations, most fisheries, you, you might have the advantage or luxury of uh, having some casters and catching silvers, but on here, in these big matches, we're only there to win, and yeah. it's like, it's sort of like 20 minutes, half an hour work on like an F1s, isn't it? Yeah, it's not but worth it's it. one carp. You've got to catch a carp, haven't you? Yeah, definitely. So, so that bomb line, in, in today's case, that's what I'm going to do. It may be something different on the on the day when we're in the final. Yeah. It might be that we slap shallow for two hours. Who knows? All, the, all depends on the weather. Yeah. Well, so we're going to go through a bomb today, the few things I do for that. Nice. And then lastly, as I said, we're going to talk about edges, but very different than we fished before. And this is going to be key for you, in, in these big, certainly in this big match, uh, the Larford final, edges is everything. It, it's everything, yeah. In big carp in general, isn't it? It's very rare at these sorts of places that you don't get that last hour, maybe two hours on a good day, of edge fishing. And I mean, even just getting here in the morning, the amount of sort of like fish that are in. I mean, you can see them down there. I'm on this one here, Rich. We're having them first chuck, mate. Yeah, they're, they're, they're down they're, there already. They're, they're, they're there already. I mean, whether that's from like bait anglers have put in from last night or something, you don't know. But they're just having it's a look at me. Uh, mate, he's having it straight away. It's just an area <laughs> where they feel confident, isn't it? And they yeah. want to come. They but know it's, it's amazing how, be. even despite them being there, I, had it, I was lucky enough to draw a good peg a couple of weeks ago. I drew, <laughs> being out, I drew 26. And there were so many fish down the edge, but you can't catch them. Stop it, Jamie. Do you know what I mean? You, what? you didn't really, suss it out. Really, uh, eventually, I got it right. but Eventually, we're like four hours to go. <laughs> for how many were there, you, you'd think it'd be one a chuck. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. these big fish, they're not. I mean, that, that's it. They don't get that big for a reason, do they? No. And they've been here a long time, and they've seen everything. They've eaten everything, like you say. So it's all about doing something that little bit different to what we've done before, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, sneaky. Trying to drops. fool them. Yes. But, right, what we're going to do, so we're going to go through a method first. Yeah. So firstly, we're going to go through a little bit of bait and show you how to set things up. 